one prominent AI entrepreneur has argued that within five years, there will be no human programmers left. Today on the AI Breakdown, we're exploring his argument and what evidence there is both for and against it. Welcome back to the AI Breakdown. Today, we are talking about the future of coding and development. And specifically, we are building off of comments from Stability AI CEO Iman Mostak, who argued on a podcast recently that in five years, there will be no human programmers left. Now, the quote came from the Moonshots and Mindsets podcast with Peter Diamandis. And by way of evidence, Imad pointed to data from GitHub. He pointed to a couple trends. The first, he said, in three months, we overtook Bitcoin and Ethereum and GitHub and developed a popularity there. And second, he said, the data from GitHub suggests that 41% of all code right now is AI generated. Now, Ahmad is certainly in a position to know something about the trends. Stability AI is, of course, the company behind Stable Diffusion, which is the open source image generator that underlies many, many different text to image platforms. At the same time, Stability AI has its fingers in a huge array of different AI areas. New York Times columnist Farhad Manju wrote something similar in an op-ed at the beginning of last month. The piece was titled, It's the End of Computer Programming as We Know It and I Feel Fine. In the piece, he remembers being a little kid waiting for games to load and reading manuals about BASIC and coming to one very thorny question which he could never quite resolve. Manju writes, There seemed to be something fundamentally backward about programming a computer that I just couldn't get over. Wasn't it odd that the machines needed us humans to learn their maddeningly precise secret languages to get the most out of them? If they're so smart, shouldn't they try to understand what we're saying rather than us learning how to talk to them? Now, Manju writes, that may finally be happening. In the kind of poetic irony, software engineering is looking like one of the fields that could be most thoroughly altered by the rise of artificial intelligence. Over the next few years, AI could transform computer programming from the rarefied, highly compensated occupation into a widely accessible skill that people can easily pick up and use as part of their jobs across a wide variety of fields. Manju points out that the gap between AI coders and human coders is getting smaller. Last year, he says, DeepMind reported in the journal Science that when AlphaCode's programs were evaluated against answers submitted by human participants in coding competitions, its performance approximately corresponds to a novice programmer with a few months to a year of training. Matt Welsh, a former engineer at Google and Apple who now runs an AI startup, also thinks that programming will become obsolete. In an essay called The End of Programming from earlier this year, he wrote, I believe the conventional idea of writing a program is headed for extinction, and indeed, for all but very specialized applications, most software as we know it will be replaced by AI systems that are trained rather than programmed. In situations where one needs a simple program, those programs will, themselves, be generated by an AI rather than coded by hand. Now, whether AI replaces coders entirely, it is certainly the case that developers are using AI probably more than any other industry. A recent GitHub report found that 92% of US-based developers are already using AI-powered coding tools in their work. GitHub partnered with Wakefield Research to survey 500 US-based developers from companies with 1,000 or more employees and found that AI is already solving some of their problems, such as repetitive tasks, including writing boilerplate code. In Balshani, the chief product officer at GitHub said, we found that developers spend most of their time writing code and tests than waiting for the code to be reviewed or for the builds to finish. We also found that AI-powered coding tools enable individual developer productivity and greater team collaboration. That means generative AI helps developers generate greater impact, increase satisfaction, and build more innovative solutions. Shani pointed out that developers who used AI tools reported 75% more fulfillment with their work and said that they're writing code more than 55% faster. Perhaps this study was evidence of the idea that AI tools won't replace developers, but will simply augment them. Another similar study from coding Q&A site Stack Overflow found that 77% of its developer respondents felt favorably about using AI in their workflow, and 70% are already using or planning to use AI coding tools this year. Still, these developers weren't totally trustful of AI coding tools. 5% were highly distrustful, 22% were somewhat distrustful, 31% were undecided, 39% said they somewhat trust these tools, and only 3% said that they highly trust AI coding tools. Now, part of that may be that there's some evidence that AI-generated code produces more bugs. Wired recently wrote a piece called The Huge Power and Potential Danger of AI-Generated Code. Programming can be faster when algorithms help out, but there is evidence AI coding assistants also make bugs more common. The piece points to a Stanford University study from last year that looked at how the quality of code from developers using an AI assistant compared to code that was created entirely by humans. As Wired writes, the researchers found that programmers getting AI suggestions tended to include more bugs in their final code, yet those with access to the tool tended to believe their code was more secure. So the risk here seems to be that humans become more confident because of AI tools and miss bugs that they otherwise might have caught. Now, there are certainly some big potential upsides from AI-assisted coding. GitHub researchers estimate that AI-powered coding could add $1.5 trillion to global GDP. 
At the same time, it seems likely that there's going to be pretty significant employment disruption as well. Yesterday, CNN published a piece called AI is already linked to layoffs in the industry that created it. The article says, A small but growing number of tech firms have cited AI as a reason for laying off workers and rethinking new hires in recent months, as Silicon Valley races to adapt advances in the technology being developed in its own backyard. For example, they point to Chegg, a public company that disclosed that it was cutting 4% of their workforce, or about 80 employees, to, quote, better position the company to execute against its AI strategy. IBM said that they expect to pause hiring for roles they think could be replaced by AI. In April, Dropbox cut about 16% of its workforce, around 500 people, saying that their skills didn't match up with the AI future that they were driving towards. And in May, Challenger Gray and Christmas said that 3,900 people were laid off due to AI. It was the first time they had broken out job cuts based on that factor. All of those cuts came in the tech sector. Still, developers who have skills in AI are getting even more rewarded than their peers. Salary data from Comprehensive.io suggests that engineers who specialize in AI or machine learning see a 12% higher average salary than those who don't specialize in those areas. Now, zooming out, the Wall Street Journal recently published a piece called What Will AI Do to Your Job? Take a look at what it's already doing to coders. The WSJ piece writes, Want to know if artificial intelligence is going to eliminate millions of jobs? The first place to look is the industry that birthed the technology. AI seems set to do to computer programming and possibly other kinds of so-called knowledge work what automation has done to other jobs, from the factory floor in the warehouse to the checkout aisle in the call center. In those industries, the end result of widespread automation has been the elimination of countless roles and their replacement with ones that require either relatively little skill and knowledge or a great deal more, with workers at either end of the spectrum being rewarded accordingly. In other words, software is eating the software industry. One of the places that this might hit hardest is actually in early career developers. The WSJ piece writes, Many experienced developers I spoke with expressed skepticism at the ability of AI coding tools to take over the most essential tasks of programming. That said, those who are already using such systems think they could eliminate the need for certain tasks that are currently generally handed off to inexperienced and early career programmers. It certainly appears like change is coming. In a move that has made lots and lots of headlines, even if it's just for novelty sake, Harvard's popular introductory Computer Science 50 course next semester will be using an AI professor. All over the internet, there is content like this piece from IEEE, How Coders Can Survive and Thrive in a ChatGPT World, Four Tips for Programmers to Stay Ahead of Generative AI. When it comes down to it, I'm not sure exactly what to think. It seems very unlikely to me that in five years, all programmers are going to be replaced by AI. It feels more likely to me that coding will be one of the industries that figures out what it looks like to transition from a pre-AI paradigm to a post-AI paradigm the fastest. It seems likely that there's going to be fundamental changes in terms of what people do and how much their jobs are to check and debug code versus producing it in the first place. It seems likely that we're going to see a very strict bifurcation between elite coders who have the ability to develop cutting edge code versus those who are just producing rote code that can be easily replaced by AI. But ultimately, I don't know. I can only say this for now, I'm still planning on getting my four-year-old and my two-year-old into code learning as soon as I can. Although what they build and how they do it might look very different than it would have a few years ago. Anyways, guys, that is it for today's AI Breakdown. I appreciate you listening as always, and until next time, peace.